My name is Brooklyn. I know it's been a few weeks already, but I'm going to say it anyway. Happy New Year, everybody! That feels so awesome to say. With 2020 behind us, the Glimpse Kids are very hopeful for 2021. We're going to continue spreading positivity each and every day because that's what Project Action is all about. Today we have another amazing Glimpse Team interview. Our guest today will help continue our mental health awareness focus in support of Bell Let's Talk Day coming up at the end of this month. Her name is Alessia Cole. Back in October, she released a song of hope called All Good and donated all of the proceeds from her song to Kids Help Phone. Before we get into the interview, a few of the Glimpse kids will talk a little bit about Kids Help Phone so that we understand how important their mission is, especially during these uncertain pandemic times. Hello everyone, my name is Nadia. Kids Help Phone is a safe, private, and confidential mental health service that's available 24 hours a day and 7 days a week for kids as young as 5 and, and young adults up to the age of 20. Hi, I'm Hamza. Kids Help Phone is a lifeline for young people in need of help. If you're not feeling yourself or if you're not or if you are in trouble, maybe you're scared or worried or just really sad about something and you don't know what to do or who to talk to, you can reach out to Kids Help Phone whenever you want and however you want by phone, text, mobile app or their website. My name is Samia. I hope you're all doing well. Kids Help Phone is led by volunteers and they can give you important and helpful information. And when needed, they can offer professional counseling services. Hi, my name is Duane. What's counseling? Let me explain. Counseling is about talking to someone who knows a lot about many different things that kids can go through. Think of counseling as a conversation with someone who you can trust, who won't judge you and who wants to help you. Hello, my name is Kate. Why do kids call Kids Help Phone? What do they want to talk about? They want to talk about anything that affects their mental well-being. Things like stress, self-care, worries, anxiety, sadness, anger, bullying, being hurt by others, family problems, relationships, and even exercise and eating advice. Hi, my name is Yanni. Kids Help Phone wants to remind kids, teenagers, and young adults across Canada that you're never alone. Reaching out for help takes courage, and it's nice to know you're not going through something on your own. Hey everyone, my name is Jada. Since the start of the pandemic, the number of kids asking for help from Kids Help Phone has doubled. So, Kids Help Phone needs your help. Now more than ever, your support is important. Please consider donating. Now that we all have a pretty good idea of what Kids Help Phone is all about, let's turn into our interview with super talented singer-songwriter Alessia Cole. Hello, Alessia. My name is Nadia, and I have a question that we ask a lot of our guests. During the pandemic, we were forced to lock down, quarantine, and social distance. So we had the opportunity to slow down and spend a whole lot of extra time with ourselves. Can you tell us something that you learned about yourself over the last six months or so? Hello everyone. First, thank you so much for having me today. I feel like an honorary Glimpse kid and I'm so honored and happy that you guys have invited me to be a part of this with you all. So thank you. Um, that was a very good question. During quarantine and lockdown, I learned that I love to bake. I did not know this before quarantine uh, and I love to bake everything. Cookies, cakes, pastries, loaves, muffins, cupcakes, <laughs> everything, all of the baking. It's so nice to get to meet you, Alessia. 
Thank you for taking the time to work with us. My name is Michelle, and I would like to ask you a question about your love for music. When did you first discover your musical talent? Do you remember a time when music found you? When you knew that music was definitely going to be such an important part of your life? You're so very welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, it was my parents who figured out that I was musical first. I was four years old and they put me in piano lessons. And then when I was eight, they put me in singing lessons. And I would sing with my dad and my grandfather. They were in a band together. And I would sing with them all over Ontario at different festivals and different feasts. And when I was eight years old, which I believe is around your guys' age, if I'm not mistaken, I went to my very first concert. Uh, I was Shania Twain and I fell in love with everything that she was doing on stage and I knew that that is what I wanted to do. Hello Alessia, my name is Samia. We have listened to a song, All Good, and we think it's a song of hope. Can you talk a little bit about what inspired you to write this so wonderful song and what you will hope it inspires in your audience? The song is about hope, so I'm so glad that you caught on to that and that that resonated with you all. I wrote this song after I was in somewhat of a bad accident with some friends and I needed to process the feelings that I was having and writing music made the most sense for me. So I wrote this so that I could listen back and remember that it was going to be okay and that everything was going to be all good. And I want my listeners to feel that same sense of hope and that same sense of inspiration with whatever is going on in their lives. So when they listen to it, they also know that there's, there's hope, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Hello Alessia, my name is Hamza. My question is about mental health. As we learned from Susan Verde's book, I Am Peace, when the world gets a little too wavy, it's important to find yourself an anchor or to, to steady yourself. What are some of your anchors? What are some things that you do to make sure that your mind is calm and that your heart is at peace? Oh, that is a very good one and you are very right. Having anchors is very, very important. Um, my first one would be music. Anything music related, singing, playing, writing. And my second anchor would be talking to my family and friends. Uh, whenever I have something that I need to get off my chest or just need to be at peace with myself, I, I turn to my family and my friends. Hello, Lesia, my name is Jonah. Why did you decide to have your song benefit Kids Help Phone? That is a very, very good question. And that ties in nicely with my previous answer. Uh, sometimes people don't have family or friends to turn to, or they don't feel comfortable, um, or they feel vulnerable, and they don't want to put that burden onto their family members or their friends. And so I think Kids Help Phone is doing such important work and having that outlet for the youth of today, especially with the pressures that society and social media put on everyone, I think it is so, so very important to have someone to talk to when you're feeling sad or vulnerable or that the world is just a little too heavy on your shoulders. So I think that Kids Help Phone is doing such great and important work and I wanted to be a part of that. Hello, Alessia. My name is Favor, and I have one and final question. Actually, I don't have a question, but I do have a favor to ask of you. Would you mind singing All Good for us today? Yes, I will absolutely play All Good for you. Thank you so much again for having me here today. I cannot wait to meet all of you in person, and I'm so, so excited for being a part of this and being a part of the Glimpse Kids. I feel like I'm an honorary Glimpse Kid, so thank you so much. So here is All Good.
having me here today and I am so excited to meet you all. Thank you so much. Alessia, that was so amazing. I totally connected with the lyric that says, there's a reason, there's a why now. Sometimes you don't see it till you slow down. That's the anchor we talk a lot about in class. Slow down. Take a breath. Get up. Keep going. It's all good. Thanks for joining us today, Alessia, and thanks for sharing your light with us. We hope to have you join us in June for Glimpse Palooza 3. Take care, stay safe. Bye for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. The Glimpse Kids are so happy to share our project action journey with you all. Remember, you can change the world one positive action at a time. There's joy. There's one. This has been a Glimpse Production. Thank you for watching.